once again to Daniel's gang of Brain Drain, the game where it really pays to get an answer right. Play like poo, and you'll leave with a lower IQ. If the wrong answer is mooted, you'll get electrocuted. Enough of the pleasantries. Let's meet our contestants. And they are. Contestant number one is Tom Schneider, who by day is a humble cobbler. In his spare time, Tom collects pencil sharpeners. Contestant number two is Georgie O'Malley. Georgie's a marine biologist who loves eating turnips. Contestant number three is Michael Potman, who is a particle physicist at Lusso and Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. In his spare time, Michael likes pottery. Let's begin the game. drainers that the contestants are fitting to their heads at the moment. Drain intelligence. In simple or plain English, this means get an answer incorrectly and your intelligence will be siphoned and distributed among the remaining contestants. Get an answer correct and you will siphon the other contestants' intelligence. We continue along this path until only one contestant is left standing or the only one left being able to communicate. Let's play Daniel's game of Brain Drain. Round one. Where is the Large Hadron Collider located? <laughs> Michael. Uh, Lucerne, Switzerland. Correct. <laughs> what is the subatomic constituent of a neutron? Michael. A quark. Correct. <laughs> this is outrageous. They're all physics questions. Ah, Tom, arguing with the host. That's a no-no. <laughs> Don't worry, Tom. The cobbler questions will come soon enough. As you can see, this is how the game works. We now continue along this path until only one... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I think we actually have a malfunction with your um, neuronal drainer. We'll try and fix that with a break. Okay, next question. Which president was most famous? That goes to 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. That is correct. <laughs> well, that leaves us at the end of round one. Now, it's time for the bonus round, where we give you the opportunity to reclaim some of that intelligence you have lost. This round is particularly important for you, Tom. Brains. <laughs> Tom. Brains indeed. <laughs> this is our very own Nobel Prize Laureate. Very intelligent. Every question you get correct in this round, you siphon some of his intelligence. Only incorrect answers will incur an intelligence siphon. Let us begin. Time starts now. Who discovered the telescope in 1608? One. Galileo Galilei. Correct. In what video game did you find an Eva? George. Halo. Correct. What does a cobbler do? bonus round. Thank you very much, Noble Laureate. Thank you for playing, but it's time to say goodbye. Uh, say goodbye, Tom. That's it. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. And we'll be back right up this short ad break from one of our sponsors. This is Rich Shoes. Buy today. And remember, don't dance like you've got the shits. Put on the Ritz. Get all the girls, the glamour and the glitz. Welcome back. In this final round, the remaining contestants will battle head to head. As the stakes are higher, so are the punishments. So brace yourselves. Since you've accumulated the previous contestants' intelligence, the questions will now be a considerable level more difficult than before. Here we go. These questions are picture questions. How many leaves are on this tree? 
Michael. 4,983. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. This is Rupert. What is his favourite food? Michael. Blueberry pie. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. Solve this equation. and 3.39. That is correct. <laughs> Explain the movement of the carbon atoms through the Krebs cycle. Well, it looks like we have a winner. Congratulations, Michael. Yeah, thanks for playing. Now, before we are giving you a prize, we need to you to answer this very simple question. Please state your name, occupation, and name all the six capital cities of the world. Your time starts now. Uh, Michael Boxman, astrophysicist, uh, uh, Canberra, um, uh, uh, Washington DC. Uh, 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 uh. No, unfortunately your time is up. Thanks for playing. No prize for you. Thank you for playing Brain Drain. We'll see you again next week. Goodbye.